r slash ask reddit what experiments tests do you think the government are doing that we have no idea about they're learning so much about us through a social media i doubt they need to do human testing right now can't test biological weapons on social media though misdirection some real shit goes down and we're preoccupied by things on purpose Remember that this is the calm before storm awkward statement from Trump, if not, it's because within 4 days kneeling became the alleged top concern of our entire country. FBI trying to track a group of truckers who work together as serial killers club, covering for each other and dumping bodies all over. Actually, truck stops are like the number one place where humans are trafficked. Toledo, Ohio is one of the worst spots. Nice try FBI. Good day CIA. All these borderline conspiracy theories, while mine is pretty mundane, military and intelligence, no one had any idea about the B-2 stealth bomber or the SR-71 until they were used, and not even for a while after that, with the SR-71, and there's still plenty of things we don't know about them. Lots of the are crafting on how to get a spy network or just intelligence in general into other countries, both friendly and enemy, because knowledge is power, you know, the boring stuff. Notably, Tom Clancy wrote a book that hypothesized the existence of an aircraft that matched the F-117 and prompted an investigation of the program for leaks. They found it was just him making a lucky guess. They're testing our patients. That's a zinger if I ever heard one redacted. I've always been a fan of the conspiracy theory that the government was behind throwback Thursdays as some sort of social experiment to get people to digitize and upload old pictures of themselves online so that they could use them to make facial recognition age progression algorithms better. That actually sounds pretty reasonable. I think they caught the golden state killer using DNA a very distant related cousin had sent into a 23 and type thing manipulating what we see and how we react show people sad stories they get sad and post sad stories show them happy ones they get happy and post happy facebook already got in trouble for doing this without user consent i have zero doubt the government was either in on it and or is still doing it assassination mini drones if they weren't working on it before that creepy anti-IE video came out then someone is working on the possibilities now. Real augmentations to soldiers on an individual level, reinforced limbs, artificial skeletons and eyes. The possibilities are too potent to ignore that there is very likely some research going on somewhere, probably Africa. Everything we have caught them doing in our recent past is still believably going on because we haven't really given our government a reason to change. That includes illegal human experimentation, editors from major publications, like the NIT, being on the CIA payroll, mass surveillance by the NSA, torture at black sites. They definitely torture at black sites. Why is there a CIA in Morocco next to nothing where they expedite people to definitely not taking advantage of interrogation laws that's for sure. I'm about 99% convinced the nuclear scare a while back in Hawaii wasn't an accident at all, but a dry run to gather data in case we get to a point where the real deal might happen. In London, there was a scare at Oxford Circus, major tube station, at Russia. Police closed it all down for a while, but nothing bad was found. I'm sure it was a training exercise, because you can't normally practice that. Plus the news said armed police were there in 30 seconds, which is a great deterrent for anyone thinking of attacking a busy area. Studying our search history, they could have full access and we don't know it. Crazy, edit, yes you all I know they could have access. But what really gets me is the studying part. That's some next level shit I'm interested in. I was in Afghanistan standing post. One night we were watching over this valley and seven different lights turned on in the sky. As bright as spotting flares. It illuminated the entire valley like it was daytime. We thought they were flares but they stayed up and stayed bright for about 30 minutes. Slowly moving both left and then right. Then they winked out. All at once. The entire time. The radio was flooded with calls from everyone top down on what the hell just happened. I was in the infantry, so I knew all about RT flares and regular flares. Even our old timers had never seen anything like it. Probably something like MK Ultra. Making rats ant sized. 
What about ants rat sized? A lot of things to do with subliminal suggestion, advertising, and the way media is presented is all carefully crafted to give a specific narrative to US citizens. Geoengineering, so that if we don't get our act together before global warming gets out of control, we can do something like blast monatomic sulfur into the stratosphere or into strategic points in orbit to reduce the amount of sun hitting the planet and cool the earth if all else fails. And as we don't seem to be getting off our duff as a species really fast, it just might. Sadly, this is one of those sci-fi Saturday night solutions. Right up there with Sharknado, where one solution breeds 100 unexpected and deadly side effects that taken together could be even worse. Up to the point where the concerned scientists try to storm mission control to stop the launch screaming no 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 while President for Life Pence presses the button and launches the rocket. And everything looks great for about 2 days until the shit starts coming down. This is part of the premise behind the movie Snowpiercer I'm pretty sure. They released some chemical into the air to cool the planet. It was too effective. And the planet is in a state of permanent winter. They're the ones suppressing the true spelling of the Berenstein Bears to see what they can make people believe. This Ascredit is a test to know how much we know. I think the government developed drugs that are as effective in cocaine or heroin or whatever, but doesn't have the negative side effects, and they just kept it a secret so they could party hard on the weekends. Biotechnological and pharmaceutical research on the population. Probably boring stuff like higher efficiency jet engines and improved materials. Those are things that would bring most general good for the military. For anyone who reads comments that are this low, if you want to read about some absolutely terrifying experimentations do some research on Japanese Unit 731 from World War II. The Japanese invaded China and used civilians by the thousands for everything from testing certain organs and specific weather conditions with specific injuries to tying people to posts that are stuck in the ground at certain increments and exploding. Huge bombs in order to test the kill range of the bomb and then let the medics try to save the patients without anesthetics. Internet kill switch, but not like an off switch, I mean like shad albining, but can be applied selectively, by region, website, even demographic groups. Hard to notice if you're affected, impossible for the rest who aren't. Strip technology and tools from a protest, control the messaging to the media and thus from it, then quietly and brutally end it. Peace forever, as long as we all behave. I wouldn't be in the least bit surprised if the government are using an awful lot of our digital footprint to learn a lot more about our behaviors and by extension how to influence them. Take all of the recent evidence of meddling with social media for the sake of winning referenda and elections worldwide. It doesn't take an awful lot to sway the mind of the ambivalent voter and we're really going to have our western democracy tested in the coming decades. I don't quite see what the solution to all of this is but it's not going to be easy. It may involve an expenses amount of research into how to properly regulate it, or it may just require my dad to come in and strike me with jumper cables. But I certainly believe that it's the biggest threat to the political status quo and the integrity of democracy. Reducing the effectiveness of tinfoil at blocking out their transmissions. I believe that the government can and does access our devices without our permission and doesn't give a shit about our consent. The world's social media addiction has handed corporations a regularly updated database of us, our relatives and circle of acquaintances for free that they then sell to governments. I think that certain social movements are orchestrated by powerful people behind the scenes to enforce behavior and agendas, using our emotions and morals to move us in certain directions that make us think it was our idea all along. I also think that human experimentation is rampant, and that pharmaceutical companies do it all the time and the politicians they lobby for keep it under wraps, edited for clarity. They are probably tracking what porn I am into and getting absolutely nowhere since it changes from day to day. This is kinda crazy but I've always had the idea that my phone's front camera is watching my reactions to certain media to figure out what I like or dislike without my input. Maybe not the government but some big companies. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.